My goodness. Wow. How he can get through the defense on some of these shots, whether it's a dunk, whether What's going on, NBA fanatics? This is your friendly neighborhood, Memphis Grizzly home of Memphis X, and I talk hoops. Today, I am talking about the Grizzlies trying to bounce back from a rough road trip against the Phoenix Suns in Memphis. But first, every hero needs their theme music. Y'all remember those old, old championship DVDs and VHS tapes that used to come out after a team wins the championship? I think Sports Illustrated would have, you know, if you get a subscription, they send you a championship DVD and they would give you a whole story about the season, the championship season. Well, y'all know I've been saying I think the Grizzlies are going to win the championship this year. And right now, that clip from Lord of the Rings was the perfect clip because you wonder at this point where it seems like everything is at its lowest, how in the hell can this team overcome this and win a championship? And that's the beauty of sports, people. The beauty of sports. The story just continues. And we do not know how the story is going to end at this time. Now, I can suspect how the story is going to end. I can hope how the story is going to end. But we don't know how the story is going to end for the Grizzlies. So tonight, they get to write another chapter in this story of what could be a championship season against the wounded Phoenix Suns. Devin Booker hurt his groin again on Christmas Day right after the Grizzlies played. I think he lasted four minutes into the game. Got hurt, so he is out for tonight. So campaign's out. Uh, the other cam's out. So the, the Suns have injuries. The Grizzlies are relatively healthy. Um. And we're going to start to learn a lot about this Grizzlies team from here to the end of the season. What kind of players do we have? Can Jaron Jackson get his game together? And I'm not talking about his game on the court. I'm talking about his fouling and his temperament. He's got to get that under control. Can Bang get a shot back? Well, we know he's going to get a shot back. It's just a matter of when he's going to get a shot back. John ja Morant is going to be John ja Morant. Steven Adams is going to be Steven Adams. Dylan Brooks is the same old Dylan Brooks. He's been pretty consistent through the year. Um, so the questions really are about the bench. Can we get consistent scoring off the bench outside of Brandon Clark and Tyus Jones? What can John Conchar and Zaire Williams bring to the table? And how long of a rope do they get when you have David Roddy, who was coming into his own, sitting on the bench, ramped and ready? How long do they hold off big body Roddy for that ninth, tenth, or their backup wing position? Because his shot was looking good, his defense was looking good, and his ability to drive the ball and create off the dribble was looking good. So, to be honest, now, the other guys bring some other kind of talents to the game, but David Roddy was more of a complete wing off the bench, and he suits, his game suits the role of being a bench scorer because he has off the dribble game, he can spot up, he can defend a little bit, he's got size, he won't get overwhelmed on defense. So, you know, we're going to see what, Coach Taylor Jenkins has in store for us this today or tonight because we know they couldn't have been happy with this road trip at all. The Grizzlies have fallen from first place in the West to third. Um, so 
They have to get it together. Their offense is falling from fourth to 12th. So they have a lot to work on. So we're going to learn a lot. Not to, We're not going to learn it all tonight. But we're going to learn a lot about this team over the next few months. We're going to really learn about this uh, front office between now and the trade deadline. Because drafting well is great. I appreciate it after dealing with Chris Wallace for so long. Believe me, I appreciate the drafting. Drafting well is great. And the guys they drafted, even Jake LaRavia, David Roddy, Zaya Williams, they've all, well, Kennedy Chandler, uh, Kenny Lofton Jr., they've all shown promise. But the Grizzlies are in a unique position. They are trying to compete for a championship now. And it's sort of like the problems that the Warriors have been having with the two-timeline two thing, except the Grizzlies have never won a championship, and the rest of the Grizzlies' core is young also. So people don't really see it as a two-timeline two thing, but really it is a two-timeline thing. They have to figure out, you know, if they're going to bring in some more help for the bench and what they're going to do. So, like I said, I'll be eagerly watching tonight to see how this chapter unfolds. I know you guys will also. But we'll be back here tomorrow to talk about it, and we'll look for some key things. And one of the key things we want to look for is the Grizzlies should win this game by double digits. And Jaron Jackson needs to play 30 minutes tonight. Peace.